What's going on guys, welcome to another video. In today's video I'll be comparing what it's like to trade on the iPad Pro, the iPad Air and the iPad 9th generation. Hopefully after watching this video you will be able to decide which one is right for you. So let's start by looking at the iPad 9th generation. Ok so as traders the main thing we want to know is if we can carry out all our essential tasks using the iPad. So let's look at some of the apps that we traders use on a daily basis and how they run on the iPad 9th generation. So starting with the TradingView app. As traders, it's vital that we can see the charts and analyse them on a daily basis. Just as you'd expect, this iPad has no problems doing this. Analysing charts on this iPad is equally as enjoyable as on the more expensive iPad Air and iPad Pro. The TradingView app has all the features you need and runs smoothly without any issues. The only thing missing is the 120Hz refresh rate experience when navigating on charts, which isn't a deal breaker. In addition, you have the display which is slightly smaller than the one found on the iPad Pro. Of course, as traders it's important we can see as much of the chart on our screens as possible as it helps our analysis, however the display is still big enough to see significant price action. Ok so the second most important thing we traders need to be able to access is fundamental news events and updates. One of my personal favourites for this is the Yahoo Finance app. This app again runs perfectly on this iPad and has no issues. The beautiful display on the 9th generation iPad allows for a great experience when reading extensive news articles and central bank statements. Another app which you may decide to use on this iPad is the Financial Times app. When it comes to fundamental analysis there's a lot of articles out there, however not all of them are trustworthy. That's why it's important you use a reliable app like Financial Times to get your news updates. The app is very minimal and offers the most reliable news articles. Of course you need a subscription with them to access all their articles, however it's definitely worth it if you are a serious trader. Ok so the next app which is essential for us traders is a good music app like Spotify. Obviously you can download Spotify on this iPad without any problems. The speakers on this iPad are good enough but nothing special but I expect most of us will be listening using our headphones or a Bluetooth speaker. Ok so next let's take a look at the design of the iPad 9th generation. The iPad 9th generation's display has incredible detail and vivid colours. The 10.2 inch retina display is perfect for your daily tasks like consuming content and analysing charts. It may lack the 120Hz refresh rate which the more expensive iPad Pro has, however for what you are paying you are still getting a great device with a great display. You also have Apple's True Tone technology which adjusts the display's colour to the temperature of the room to make viewing comfortable in any light. This makes it easier to use the iPad in different environments without putting too much strain on your eyes, which is very important for us traders who can spend a lot of time staring at the charts every single day. The only downside to the design may be the large bezels. When it comes to performance you are not going to have any problems with this iPad. The A13 Bionic chip makes everything more responsive from messaging to web browsing to using multiple apps at once. Of course Apple's iPad OS 16 pushes the capabilities of the iPad further with more efficient multitasking. I find this useful when looking at my charts and analysis and fundamental news side by side. When it comes to battery life the iPad 9th generation offers up to 10 hours of usage which is more than enough to get you through the day, even for us traders. When it comes to the price of the iPad 9th generation, it's definitely on the more budget friendly side. The iPad 9th generation starts from £319, which when compared to other tablets on the market is rather affordable. So if you are someone who doesn't want to spend too much on an iPad, then the 9th generation iPad is a great option. For £319 you'll get 64 gigs which to most users won't be enough but if you're buying the iPad just for trading you shouldn't have a problem with storage. However if you think you'll be needing more then you can always opt for the 256 gig model which will cost you £459, still a lot cheaper than the iPad Air and the Pro. 
So when it comes to accessories, the iPad 9th generation is compatible with the Apple Pencil 1st generation. So if you wanted to use the Apple Pencil with your iPad, you can. The Apple Pencil is extremely useful when it comes to chart analysis and makes for an overall more enjoyable experience. The Apple Pencil 1st generation will cost you £109. The iPad 9 however is not compatible with the Magic Keyboard but you can still use it with other smart keyboard cases. Ok so who is this iPad for? This iPad is for someone who wants a great tablet with high performance and wants to be able to do all their essential tasks without any issues. Also this iPad is for someone who isn't too fussy about tech specs and is willing to sacrifice a few of the latest features in order to save a large sum of money. Next we have the iPad Air. So again let's start by looking at how it holds up when running all the essential training apps. Starting with the app we will be spending most of our time on, TradingView. Analyzing charts on this iPad has a similar feel to the iPad Pro. The TradingView app has all the features you need and runs smoothly without any issues on this iPad as well. The only thing missing again on this iPad is the 120Hz refresh rate. And you know, as I mentioned before, it's not a deal breaker. As this iPad has very little bezel like the Pro, you are able to view a good amount of the chart on this iPad which is great for identifying trends and seeing price history. Yahoo Finance again runs perfectly on this iPad and has no issues. The minimal bezel display allows for a great experience when scrolling through news articles and watching economic news. Just like the iPad 9th generation, the Financial Times app works perfectly on the iPad Air. This app makes doing your fundamental analysis easy and effective. Because of the iPad Air's edge to edge display, reading articles on this tablet is very nice. Ok so when it comes to the performance on the iPad Air, you have Apple's M1 chip. Apple's M1 chip powers some of Apple's most powerful products and now we get to see it in the iPad Air 2. The fact that we get the M1 chip in Apple's mid range iPad is pretty cool. Before this iPad was released you'd have to purchase the top of the range iPad in order to get peak performance. Now with the M1 chip, the iPad Air delivers 60% faster performance, which is perfect for running heavy apps like Luma, Lightroom and TradingView. As a trader, you require a fast and reliable device when analysing charts and entering trades. Now that the new iPad Air has the M1 chip, trading on it will be both fast and reliable. On top of this, the iPad Air also offers up to 10 hours of battery life, which is great as apps such as TradingView and MT4 can use up a lot of battery. When it comes to the design of the iPad, the Air is pretty much identical to the iPad Pro. However, the iPad Air is available in 5 different colours. The iPad Air is also very light, which makes it easy to take around. Then of course you have the Liquid Retina display on the iPad Air. The Liquid Retina display is very nice and enjoyable to use. Whether you are analysing charts or just watching YouTube, you will have a great experience. Even though the display is not as vivid as the display on the iPad Pro, the colours still look very sharp when compared to other tablets on the market. When it comes to the price of the iPad Air, I wouldn't say it's cheap but it's slightly more budget friendly. The iPad Air costs £669, which as I mentioned isn't very cheap but it's cheaper than the iPad Pro. However, again if you think you'll be needing more storage, you can always opt for the 256GB model but that will cost you £849 which is more expensive than the base model for the iPad Pro. And in terms of accessories, the iPad Air is compatible with both the Apple Pencil 2 and Magic Keyboard. So if you want to use these accessories with your iPad, you can. The Apple Pencil again like I mentioned, makes the whole experience more enjoyable when analysing charts. However be ready to spend another £500 to get both these accessories for your iPad. So I'd say this iPad is for those who are looking for some of the newer features such as an edge to edge display and Magic Keyboard and Apple Pencil 2 compatibility. Also it's for those who are willing to widen their budget slightly more for extra functionality. But in my opinion if you are willing to pay for the iPad Air you may as well pay a bit more for the Pro and get the best possible experience. Ok so lastly let's take a look at what it's like to trade on the iPad Pro. Firstly you need an app which you can execute trades on. I think the most popular platform is MetaTrader 4 which I actually believe is no longer available to download from the app store for some reason. In this case Ctrader is a great alternative. I personally have considered changing over to Ctrader for a while now 
as the platform simply offers you a lot more information and functions compared to the MetaTrader 4 app. However, for some reason, I still haven't been able to make the change. Maybe I can make a video in the future walking you guys through the app and some of its functions. Let me know if you guys would like to see this in the comment section. Alright, so now that you have an app that you can execute trades on, we now need an app that we can carry out all our technical analysis on. I think most of you agree that TradingView is the best platform for this. Since downloading the app, I have seen many improvements and updates which have made for an overall better experience. Many features have been added over time which have made the app even more like the website version. As traders we spend a lot of time analysing charts and sometimes it can feel repetitive and become a little bit boring. However I found this wasn't the case when using the iPad Pro. The fact that I can just pick it up and go and sit and analyse charts wherever I am. The fact that I'm using a touchscreen display when drawing on the analysis and on top of that I'm using the ProMotion display. And of course when doing all of this you can use the Apple Pencil which makes it even more enjoyable. The Apple Pencil is a very good accessory to have for iPad Pro owners, especially when using TradingView. Using the Apple Pencil you can draw on trend lines, support and resistance lines very accurately. When it comes to fundamentals you have a variety of sources and apps that you can choose from on the iPad. My personal favourites as I've mentioned many times before are Financial Times and Yahoo Finance. With Financial Times you have high quality news sources which allow you to read the market. On the other hand you have Yahoo Finance which literally notifies you on every little event which takes place that may affect the market. This is rather helpful for us currency traders as we always need to know why the market is behaving the way it is. The only annoying thing about Yahoo Finance is that it sometimes notifies you on events which aren't that important. The reason this is annoying is because some news articles may influence your trading decisions, however this may not always be particularly significant. So it's up to you to filter out the noise from the significant events. One of my favourite things about this tablet is the design. The previous iPad's designs were nice, however Apple took it to the next level when they introduced the iPad Pro's design. The squared off edges and edge to edge display make the iPad look and feel very premium. The iPad Pro's 11 inch liquid retina display is perfect for your daily tasks like consuming content and analysing charts. The ProMotion technology on the iPad Pro makes every other device feel laggy in comparison. The ProMotion display is probably most noticeable when consuming content and analysing charts on TradingView. The 120Hz refresh rate makes using tools on your chart more enjoyable and easier, especially when doing your technical analysis. You also have Apple's True Tone technology which adjusts the display's colour to the temperature of the room to make viewing more comfortable in any light, similar to the iPad Air. This makes it easier to use the iPad in different environments without putting too much strain on your eyes. With a max brightness of 600 nits, you are able to use the iPad Pro outdoors without any issues regarding screen visibility. When it comes to the price of the iPad Pro, it starts from £900 for the 128GB model. Obviously this is on the more expensive side, however you are definitely getting good value for your money. The iPad Pro obviously is compatible with both the Apple Pencil 2 and Magic Keyboard. So if you wanted to pick them up, you can do. But again, like I mentioned before, be willing to spend £500 on top of the iPad Pro. So who should buy the iPad Pro? The Pro is for individuals who want a highly efficient and enjoyable experience when using their tablet. Also it's for those who want the latest and greatest features without worrying about their budget. The 120Hz refresh rate is definitely what sets the iPad Pro apart from the other iPads. But apart from that, the other iPads are almost identical. Alright guys, that's all for today's video, if you made it this far, thanks for watching, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one.